Good afternoon, Beaver Creek families, and thanks for joining us today for this week's Beaver Creek City Schools update. Last evening's Board of Education meeting was very exciting. Our board had the opportunity to celebrate and honor our students for their outstanding accomplishments, our retiring staff members for their service to our district, the founders of Creek Safe and the owner of Bellbrook Fence Company for their incredible commitment and financial donation to our district. We had the opportunity to award a high school diploma to one of our residents. And finally, we were able to memorialize one of Beaver Creek's greatest leaders, Mr. Ben O'Diam. I would encourage our families to watch the recording of last evening's presentations by visiting our website at gocreek.org. It will warm your heart, I promise. We have so much to celebrate in our district. During last evening's board meeting, the board was presented with a new student calendar for the 21-22 school year. The only change proposed to next year's school calendar is to implement the same staggered start that was implemented for this school year. You may remember at the beginning of this school year, students with the last names A through L began the first student day and students with the last names M through Z came on the second student day. The purpose of this staggered start was to allow our staff to review protocols for the new school year and to reduce the number of students on those first two days so that our staff can ensure that our students were fully prepared for the school year. We realized quickly that the two-day staggered start was not only beneficial to our staff, it was also very beneficial for our students. It allowed for greater communication on those first two days and eased everyone into the school year. Because of the success of last year's Staggered Start, we are proposing to the board to adopt the same Staggered Start for the 21-22 school year. Students with the last names A through L will start on Monday, August 16th, and students with the last names M through Z will start on Tuesday, August 17th. All students grades 1 through 12 will be in session on Wednesday, August 18th. The board will consider this modification to next year's calendar and vote on the proposed change at their June board meeting. We will communicate the final calendar out to our families once the board is considered and voted on the proposed change. It is truly hard to believe that the class of 2021 will be receiving their diplomas next week. We are so very proud of the class of 21 and we would once again encourage our community to tune into our website at 7 p.m. on May 24th and the 27th to celebrate this year's graduation. As we prepare for the 21-22 school year, we have received a number of questions about what parents can expect for next year. One topic that has been asked is whether a virtual option will be provided by the district. During our current school year, the Ohio Legislature provided schools with the necessary flexibility to implement remote instruction and learning. The Ohio Department of Education notified districts last month that the Ohio Legislature has not extended the remote learning flexibilities granted for this current school year. This information from the Ohio Department of Education, in addition to the district level considerations for social emotional needs of our students, academic rigor to support student achievement, and student engagement affirms the need for all students to return in-person instruction for the 21-22 school year. Therefore, Beaver Creek City Schools will not offer a remote learning option for next school year. We will look forward to having all students back in the building to start the 21-22 school year. Our building principals will send information out to our virtual families regarding activities and events to facilitate the transition back to the school building. We want to make sure this transition is as smooth as possible for our students and families. As we communicated last week, there has been a great deal of movement over the past few weeks regarding COVID restrictions and guidelines. I would like to now turn it over to our Director of Student Services, our District COVID expert, Mr. Jeff Mann, as he will begin sharing information about what our hopes are for the 21-22 school year. Thanks, Paul. It's hard to believe the school year is nearly over and with the exception of a few days, we have been able to offer in-person instruction throughout the entire school year. I'm not sure anyone believed this to be possible as we began the school year. As this year comes to a close, we will begin to plan for next year, and we will review all of our procedures and policies related to the pandemic. The two topics on everyone's mind are the mask policy 
and the quarantine policy. Last Wednesday, Governor DeWine announced that all public health orders related to the pandemic will expire on June 2nd, with the exception of health orders impacting nursing homes and assisted living facilities. The basis for our procedures on requiring masks and requiring quarantines throughout this year have always been related to the existing health orders that have required the use of masks and have required quarantines if exposed to a positive person. We are hopeful that the steps taken here in Beaver Creek and the state of Ohio have paid off and our return to school for next year will resemble a typical pre-pandemic start with no mask and no required quarantines. While we remain optimistic about a return to normal for next school year, we have also learned to expect that health orders and guidance from health organizations can and do change. While we anticipate updated guidance from the state prior to the start of the 21-22 school year, we have not seen any guidance on what this might look like. Simply put, we believe the next school year will resume with students only wearing a mask if they choose to wear one, and we don't believe students will be required to quarantine. If our guidance on this were to change, we would inform our parents, students, and staff as soon as possible. Now, back to Mr. Otten. Thanks, Jeff. In closing, I would like to thank our parents of graduating seniors. We know that the success of our students is because of the partnership that our parents have with our district. We have the greatest parents around and the support that we receive from our parents is tremendous. Thanks for all that you've done over the years to get your child to the seat at the Nutter Center. Job well done. This concludes this week's update. I hope everyone has a safe and enjoyable weekend.